after a long wait, the Lone Star Grills Pellet Grill has been released and I've got mine right behind me. Gonna do a complete walk around today. Gonna show you all the bells and whistles. And the first thing I wanna mention is that this pit is 100% made in the USA. Every bolt, nut, screw, everything about it is 100% American made. And that's what I love about it. So I can't think of a better place to start than with the heart of this unit here. And that is the fireboard controller. It holds up to six ports. They pop in right here. And the probe port is right here and that will handle quite a few cables if you need it to. Now the beauty of what they've done with this particular control head, this controller, is they have programmed this so this pit will run like an offset. It produces smoke constantly. It's constantly putting out smoke just like an offset. It's got good convection with the fans to where you're constantly moving a lot of good clean smoke through this. And you might notice once I start running this that you've got some temperature swings in here, not in the chamber, but in here, you have long swings and then short oscillations. That's how they're tricking us into thinking it's an offset. And we'll get into that uh, probably once I do my first cook and I'll show you more about that. I will be doing a burn in on this today, but I don't want to elaborate on that too much. Just mainly doing a good walkthrough here. Now, this pit has every option you can get. This is the 42 inch. First thing is a uh, logo right here. You can get a personalized logo. Stainless steel table right here. Now, they come stock with a carbon steel painted table. This is an upgrade to stainless steel table. Stainless steel cool touch handle that's standard. Also had the tell true thermometer here. This has a really nice paint job. Now, when I do the burn-in on this, not only are we, are we seasoning the inside of this pit, but we will be setting the paint on this as well. So they do make this pit in a 36 inch as well, 20 by 36. This is the larger of the two. So let's take a look at this hopper here. This hopper holds 40 pounds of pellets. That will get you through the longest of cooks. Now, if you notice, this top lid does not have hinges, and that was actually done on purpose because they are making this rain and water tight. And if it had hinges somewhere on this with screws, you have a potential place that water could seep through. And also here on the back, there is a pellet dump. You pull this out, all your pellets dump out that you can dump out at the end of the cook. Now these pits, whether you get to 36 or the 42 inch, they come standard with five inch casters. You can upgrade to an eight inch caster, but you can also upgrade to the off-road package such as I have here. All right, this is your stack. It does bolt on, it has a gasket in place. You have your top vent here to adjust it with. And like I do on all set, I will more than likely leave this wide open at all times when I'm using it. Now this pit has a thicker metal than any other manufacturer of pellet grills. Look at that. That is a solid 1 8 inch. And what that means for this pit is not only do you have good thermal mass built into it because of the thickness, you also have good heat retention, which really helps in leveling out and maintaining your temperatures from one end to the other. Up under here is where you have a removable fire pot. You can remove this at the end of the cook to easily dump out the ash. It uh, allows you to do it from the outside instead of having to use a wet vac to suck all that out of there from the inside like you have to do on so many pits. I really love that feature about this pit. The temperature range on this control head is 160 degrees Fahrenheit up to 450. That's for your, your smoking. If you go into like a grilling mode, it can get much, much higher. Another function of the control head and the pit is that it has a cold smoke setting. You can actually cold smoke with this smoker with absolutely no heat, true cold smoking. So far, we have a pellet smoker, pellet grill that also can be a coal smoker. And in addition to that, 
we have a charcoal grill that can also be inserted into this pit and use nothing but charcoal. So you have a charcoal pit, a pellet grill, and a coal smoker all built into one unit. Here is the upper and lower grates. As you can tell, these need to be seasoned. I do have the deflector plate out of the pit as of right now. I'll show you that momentarily. So there's the inside. Over here is your grease trap. This is where your deflector plate will funnel down all the grease that gets caught into this, this trap here. And from there, if you'll look under the bottom, we have a pipe with a ball valve. And I'm just gonna leave that in the open position. I've still gotta get a bucket to place under that to catch all the grease that comes from the, uh, the various cooks. Over here is the fire pot. You might can see the igniter in the bottom. And speaking of igniters, that is a ceramic hot air ignition. It's not the old hot rods like so many of your cheaper pits use that burn out prematurely. That igniter has been tested in excess of 100,000 lights. And let me tell you, especially at my age, this pit will never see 100,000 cooks. So with that, you can rest assured that you're going to have a lifetime of use out of the pit here. The auger that's built into this is a short auger, first off. When you purge this, it only takes a mere second for pellets to start dumping. And it's a center, open center auger is what they call it, which can virtually eliminate all pellet jams. And that's one thing that most smokers are known for, notorious for, is that you can leave your pellets in there too long, get a little humidity, next thing you know, you got an auger jam. So virtually impossible with this one. Now here's the deflector plate. You've got two positions for this. You've got this slide to where you would close off these vents and that gives you indirect cooking for, for smoking meats and such as that. Slide it back. Now you can grill fajitas, burgers, hot dogs, steaks, whatever. So I'm, I'm telling you, I'm really loving what I'm seeing so far. Another thing that this controller is capable of is it can do step programming. What I mean, let's say you want to start your cook at let's say uh, 200 degrees, 180, whatever. And then at some point, let's say two or three hours in, you want to jack it up to 225. Well, all that's programmable. You don't have to make any adjustments. All you have to do is set it up and the controller would do the rest. This controller is also Bluetooth and Wi-Fi capable. You can monitor this with a really nice looking app through Fireboard. And the good thing about having a Wi-Fi is if there's updates in the future, you'll be able to update it through your Wi-Fi. Plus, let's say you have to run up the road and you just want to kind of keep check of a long cook. You're able to look at your temps and everything remotely away from your pit. And we're talking really anywhere that you have an internet connection to your phone, you'll be able to do that. I just seasoned everything possible on the inside of the chamber on this pit. Everything has a nice coat of uh, canola spray like Pam. And uh, I went on the inside, got the grease trap, got everything, got everything that was exposed. I also took the back side of the deflector plate, sprayed them, placed it in, sprayed the top side, did the grates the same way, backside, top side, slid them in, and I just fired this thing up, and it's settling in at around 200 degrees. Now what I'm going to do, I'm not going to show this on video, it's getting late, I'm just going to sit out here with it and watch it, but uh, for one hour I'll go at 200, and then I'm going to go at 225 for three hours, and then two hours at 250, and that's the way I'm going to do that. Now, if you would like to see another video, another walk around with a whole nother aspect to this, go over there and check out my buddy Jeff at Dead Broke Barbecue and check his walk around out on his 42 by 20. Same pit as I've got right here, and he does a really good job. And he does walk you through the entire burn off process as well. So I'll have a link in the description box where you can hop over there to Jeff and check that video out as well. So first cook 
I'm thinking a comparison. Since this thing is known for smoking like an offset, and it's been tricked into thinking it's an offset, why not do a comparison with it against my Lone Star Grills offset? I'm thinking pork butt, something like that. Who would like to see that video? Leave it in the comments. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Please go check out Lone Star Grills website. They have all the information on this website as well as all their other smokers and pits. But until next time, I'm Russ Jones with Smoky Ribs Barbecue.